Good morning, folks. Major video out last night if you missed it. Here, there isn't much to miss on their star, or is there? Got news all over, but you don't have all day, so better get to it at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last day on our star appears to have been relatively calm and quiet. No sunspots or solar flares, and the coronal hole solar wind has not yet arrived at Earth. But looking at 171 angstroms reveals something behind the eastern limb on the north, a fast and wide snap burst of plasma ejecting from the far side. Soho caught the eruption, which did end up being a double CME, with the second having wide burst characteristics and a halo from our vantage point. Stereo A saw the blast looking at the far side from four months behind Earth orbit. Again, this is a halo eruption, but it's going the other way. Far side spots released the blast. Let's come down to the weather. More than a dozen tornadoes have been confirmed from the U.S. yesterday, with about 10 more potentially to be confirmed today. The storms are going to kick up again tonight and might be just as bad, so checking local conditions this afternoon is critical. Let's go out to space. In the JPO orbital diagram looking at Apophis, the asteroid they say is just barely going to miss a major Earth collision in just days less than 10 years from now. There is an interesting article on their plans for its close approach and how they're going to be studying it, and also an interesting notation about how it might make more dangerous asteroids out of those nearby, knocking them off course even slightly. Up next, a study claiming that floods are as bad for corn crops as heat and drought. That might be fairly intuitive, but science doesn't work on intuition. They finally went ahead and broke it all down, linked below. Quick note from the University of Arizona, we're heading out to Saturn's moon Titan, where they've imaged a massive and virtually inexplicable ice mass cutting through the mid-latitudes of the sphere. Big mystery there, also linked for you below. Up next, it's galactic mergers and the children they drag along with them. Scientists have found a star they say must have come from one of the many dwarf galaxy collisions and mergers with our larger Milky Way. Its chemical composition does not make any sense being from this galaxy, unless it came from one of the globular clusters or dwarf populations orbiting our larger hole. On to more mysteries about stars, but this time from one grain of space dust. Either this dust has picked up incredible elemental diversity by luck in cosmic ray hits over time, or it upends our understanding of what Nova can produce. It was thought they were mostly flavored and favoring some elements, but they may just be pure element factories regardless of where they are. That includes places 2,000 light years away in M22, where the remnants of a Nova were just found for the first time using the more sensitive instruments. They are still finding dust and plasma we couldn't see before. Now hold that thought. Because you recall we poked some fun at the super heavy dark matter particle proposed yesterday. The thing would literally be thousands of protons in size at 1.4 TeV. Well, just leave it to Chicago and the Fermi Lab to give the real head shaker. They propose super heavy dark matter seen by Anita, except it is enormously larger than the damping signal, as in it would be 10 million tera electron volts, about 10 million times bigger than the one we made fun of yesterday. For your sake, scientists, I hope not, because not finding that thus far would be pitiful. For those who catch this article out in the wires yesterday and today, good science but bad journalism. I stand by the science staring down at modified gravity explanations, and those are the ones debunked here. Plasma universe is on the same line as they are saying, and until they find all the plasma and dust I told you to keep in mind 30 seconds ago, maybe they shouldn't be inventing new particles to take their place. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. If you missed us fire the first cannon shot in the Observers versus Harvard's Lingam, it is linked below on our channel and social media and is a must-watch video. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.